Hello, my name is Zach with Bosch Communications, and today I am here to talk about um, a product under our Dynacord brand, uh, our MXE5 Matrix Mix Engine. Um, this is our newest uh, DSP offering uh, within the Dynacord brand. Um, this DSP has a 36 by 32 matrix mixer. That's 12 analog inputs, eight analog outputs, and then 24 by 24 Dante ins and outs. Now, if we look at the, the front panel, we see that you do have some, uh, you have some indicator lights um, showing you the, the status of your inputs and outputs. Um, you have the, the main screen um, allows you to cycle through um, and you know, check some things like your IP address and you know, add any uh, presets, user presets you may, you may have loaded. Um, and then on the, the far side, we have uh, some more indicator lights showing our power. Um, whether the, or not the unit is in standby, um, any fault indications, and then we have the, the blue light, which is currently on, showing that we are connected to the Omnio network. Now, if you're not familiar with Bosch's Omnio platform, it is uh, what we use in all of our professional uh, products stemming from public address to conferencing and into our professional sound products. Um, Basically, all you need to know is that this is uh, Dante coupled with Open Control Architecture, or AES-70. Um, so any hardware like mixers or anything along those lines that use, uh, that transmit Dante, Dante audio can be integrated with, with this unit. Now when we look at the uh, back here, I'm gonna flip this around. So on the on this side, you can see our power connection along with the power switch. And then we have our GPIOs. Um, if you're doing any type of logic control, um, we do have a full logic suite built into uh, the SonicU software, which I'll touch on in a, in a second here. So if you're doing any integration, any automation, um, we do have the, the GPIOs there for you um, to utilize. And then you can see our three um, Ethernet ports on the back, or our Omnio ports. Um, we have a primary and secondary, and this gives you uh, the opportunity to um, put some uh, a level, a certain level of redundancy within the system. So there's a three different modes you can run this system in. Um, there's transparent, um, which is just a single connection uh, between each amplifier and the DSP. Uh, RSTP, you can run everything in a daisy chain loop. Um, which gives you uh, that added level of redundancy if a cable goes down or amplifier goes down, the rest of the system will continue uh, communicating with, the, with each other. Um, and then you have glitch free mode, which allows you to set up uh, independent networks off of the primary and secondary ports. Um, so you, if one network goes down, it'll automatically fail over to the, uh, the backup uh, network. Um, the third port is the control port. Um, and that gives you uh, the option to have your control system, so your, T your control panels, uh, wall control panels on a separate uh, network from the main network. So if you do want to um, separate those from each other, you do have the option to do that with the control port. Uh, next, I will get into uh, some of the touch panels. Uh, for the MXE5, we have two options currently uh, for this unit. We have the uh, TPC1. This is our fully customizable uh, wall control panel. Uh, with this panel, you can pull, uh, when you go into our SonicQ software, you can pull whatever controls you want the user to have access to into this uh, workspace. Um, so here, um, you can see I've pulled in, you can pull in background images. Um, so you can see here, I got the Microtech logo loaded up right there. Um, I've got faders for both of my inputs. I've got two inputs set up here along with mute buttons so they can select uh, which input they want uh, active. Um, we've got a master mute, and then I've also got some VU meters for, for each of the inputs set up there. And then maybe, you know, uh, you're, uh, it's a bar slash restaurant slash club and uh, they want to be able to adjust the EQ settings throughout the day. So I've got a uh, high pass filter uh, selector set up here. So if they want to maybe add some more low end um, during the night when the club is open, they can turn that off. Um, and then I've got a, a high frequency boost uh, button here set up as well. Um, so really you can 
do whatever, have whatever type of control you want uh, that's within the software on this, this wall control panel. You can set up multiple pages to control various zones. You can control multiple zones from, from one wall unit. Um, and then to complement that, we also have our newest addition uh, in terms of wall control panels, the WPN1. Um, this is your simple uh, single gang uh, wall box uh, mounted unit. Uh, just a little bit simpler, not as much uh, functionality. You know, we can't drag everything uh, in into there, um, but we have the option. I've got here uh, some input selectors um, with uh, volume controls tied to that. So you can set up multiple pages in this as well um, to control uh, a number of different zones. And you can, you can mix and match these within the same system. And you can really have as, as many of them as you need to uh, within uh, within a uh, audio ecosystem with the MXE5. So that is a uh, basic overview of the MXE5 and its wall control panels. Um, I mentioned that the SonicQ software uh, is the software that uh, in which you configure these uh, all of these products, including the MXE5 and our Dynacord um, DSP amplifiers. We've got plenty of trainings up at Dynacord.com uh, if, you, if you're looking to get some more information or feel free to reach out to your Marker Tech, Marker Tech representative. Thanks.